All right, so today we have Xeon's Smooth C uh, three-axis gimbal for smartphones. Now, um, there are a bunch of them out there right now. There's so many, so many choices. Um, this is not one that, you know, I, prefer, I purchased myself. So, uh, you know, I didn't really shop for one. Um, I also have other gimbals, smartphone gimbals, but this is one that they sent over and they want us to take a look at some of the features. So let's go ahead and unbox this thing and get this thing set up. So in the box, you've got the uh, instruction manual here, uh, warranty card, and also some social media links or how to contact them if you have any issues. Uh, inside here, we have a little weight, counterweight here, and this is to help you balance your smartphone. We've got a small charger here, two batteries. Um, then you have a USB cable to charge. Uh, also, you have the gimbal itself. And then a smartphone clamp here on the gimbal system. Inside we have just two uh, 18350 batteries here. All right. Now I didn't charge this, but let's see if it just turns on. Let's see if it works. I'm going to throw in my iPhone here. Um, see how that fits. All right, fits pretty good. Now I do have a case on my phone. As you can see, it's not balanced perfectly here. Uh, in order to get this balanced, they do have a little adjustment back here, a little D-ring. So you, you would loosen this up to get this. You can move this up or down depending on how you need to balance your smartphone. And then on the opposite side, you can add this counterweight, which will allow you to balance the smartphone. Now again, I have a case on mine. Uh, it's probably better without the case because it's going to be less weight. But you see, as soon as we add this counterweight, um, it drops towards the counterweight. So what we're going to do is we're going to slide the phone across the clamp here until we can get that fairly well balanced. There you go. Now you notice it's uh, kind of dropping over on the top there. So we could loosen this up and try to lower it. Okay, this is as low as this goes. Um, I think it's still a little bit top heavy. Again, because I have a case on my phone, I'm probably adding too much weight here. So this is probably gonna be better to use uh, without a case unless you're using a smaller phone. This right here is the iPhone 6. Um, yeah, just the iPhone 6, not the Plus. So uh, it's, it's a little bit top heavy that I'm seeing and it's most likely because of my case. But still, we should be able to use this gimbal. So underneath here is the power button. Turn this on. Now we've got some blinking lights here saying that the power is on, uh, but it's not activated yet. The motors aren't actually activated. We need to hold down one of these buttons for just a second. There you go. You see that it is uh, now stabilized. And it is just kind of leaning a little bit. There is a joystick on here that allows me to realign the levels. Now I notice that as I'm panning, it starts to roll a little bit. So I'm assuming I need to go in and calibrate this thing um, by downloading their software. Other than that, it's it's okay when I'm, you know, tilting, but panning it wants to roll. Uh, let's see here. Try a different mode. So this mode right here is going to do my follow. So if I tilt up, it'll follow tilting up and tilting down. Obviously I have the follow on the pan still. So if I press once, this one disables the follow on the tilt. All right, so what I'm gonna have to do is um, go through the calibration software. So right out of the box, 
Uh, it doesn't look like it's doing very well. So I'm going to go into software, recalibrate it. Now recalibrating happens all the time with a lot of systems because um, it's colder here uh, where I'm at right now and temperature change could cause a difference in calibration on some sensors. So uh, let's just give this the benefit of the doubt, run it through the software and then see how it performs after that. All right, so in order to download the software, we have to go to the website and jump over to the support tab. I'm using a Mac, so you have to download the drivers as well as the uh, gimbal tools, which is their software to calibrate the Z on Smooth. Now I already have the USB driver. This is the same driver that they use for SBGC. So um, I already have the driver installed. I just need to launch the software itself. So once we launch the software, we need to select the gimbal that we're trying to calibrate. We'll find that on the top right hand side. Here we're using the Z1 Smooth. And we have it connected via USB, so we hit connect. Now you want to turn the gimbal on, but you don't want to activate the motors. So in the beginning earlier, you heard me say that we were going to power it on, but the motors weren't activated until we held one of the buttons. So as you can see here, it's showing you an image of how you should hold the gimbal. Now, keep in mind the position of the handle as well as the gimbal frame itself. What you need to do is position your gimbal the exact same way. Once it feels that it's calibrated, and you want to do this on a level surface. Once it feels that it's calibrated, it's going to move on to the next image. So you have to um, just follow the images and hold your gimbal in that position and then it will calibrate and go on to the next image. Now once you're done, you'll receive a check mark which means that the calibration is complete. And after that you can uh, close the application, disconnect your gimbal, and then power it back on. And there you go, we've got the Z Yun uh, calibrated. As you can see, it's no longer rolling. The horizons are level, um, so it looks very straight right now and it works beautifully. So um, even though out of the box it had some issues, uh, most gimbals are gonna give you some sort of software to calibrate. And uh, this one right here, once you go through the calibration steps, you can see that my setup, including the case and the counterweight here on the other side, uh, works beautifully. Uh, and I'm not getting a lean when I'm panning side to side. Now that tool that I downloaded can be used on all of Zeon's products, so they make a lot of different gimbals, so you just have to download it and then um, you know go through the calibration steps. It was fairly easy, as you can see I did it on a MacBook, but uh, it does work on Windows as well. All right, with the uh, Moondog anamorphic adapter on here, it's still a little heavy. I don't have any more weight here. Now, normally I would go back and add some washers and balance this out properly, but I think this is gonna be fine because uh, this these motors are fairly strong. So once we power it on, it'll level itself out. So now we can shoot anamorphic in 4K with the iPhone.
All right, so that is a quick look at the ZN Smooth gimbal. Um, you know, there was some movement that I could tell when I was walking with it, but you know, your results are gonna vary depending on how stable you are, the type of movements you're trying to do. Uh, but I also don't believe that this is using encoders on this particular model, which is um, the new technology I keep talking about for uh, all the gimbals coming out these days. Now, after calibrating it, my horizon did stay level. Uh, I went through the process of hooking it up to a computer and you know we showed you some of those steps now that's the extreme case they say that's going to be more accurate but you don't have to have a computer uh, in case you go to a different location and you need to just calibrate your system you could do that um, on the gimbal itself without the computer what you do is you turn it on uh, but you don't start the motors instead of holding the side button you're going to hold the top button wait till it goes blue hold the down button till it flashes and then you go into your calibration mode now all the information is here in the user manual because you have to rotate it a certain way to get it um, recalibrated. Uh, but basically you don't need a computer to calibrate it out in the field if you wanna take this with you. Anyways, that's a look at the Xeon Smooth Gimbal. Let me know, let me know what you think. Uh, leave some comments below. I'll have a link to this product below this video in the description. Take a look at that or visit CheesyCam.com.